It's week 14 of the National Football League, and we've got the Seahawks' leader at quarterback. As he's moved past 3,000 yards passing for the year and looking for more, it's the Seahawks and the Panthers, and it's coming up next. Renamed in late 2020, there's a field here in Seattle, Washington. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Carolina Panthers and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Seahawks team as they get ready here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. season are complete what lurks in our final month we're underway in week 14 and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15 as Seattle's offense comes onto the field we'll see a 10-year veteran under center guy who broke into the league as a starter back in 2013 Geno Smith I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia he was coming off of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Right out of the gates, here's Smith. And his throw is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. To throw on second and ten, Smith, his throw incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. We see Carolina's offense getting set for their first possession here. And at quarterback, his second season with the Panthers, Sam Darnold. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. The big loss on first down leads to a tricky second down. 18 yards to go. A play fake, and it's Darnold on the move to his left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Darnold. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Darrell 
Taylor able to record his fifth sack of the season. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Big Derek Brown making the stop. Sticking with Walker on second down. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36. A gain of about four. A out of the gun, Smith. And that is incomplete. That certainly looks like nothing to show now from these first two possessions. And guess what? When you're on a losing streak, that can lead to a full sense of, here we go again. So on the sidelines, the offensive play callers, quarterback, they've got to get together and dial something up to start their next drive. Otherwise, it could be a long game. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week. And in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back. Panther football to start quarter number two. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw, Darnold steps, and he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he's able to get it out of there. Taken right around the 40-foot. Now a hit and a loose football. He's got the lead. to the end zone. It's a fumble recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. They overload him that time with a safety blitz and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. On third down, here's Walker. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. 
call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. We'll call that a 41-yard punt that now a little greater than following a loss on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now off the bootleg, Darnold. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Play action. It's Darnold. Again, he finds Moore. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and that will do it for this first half. All right, we bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis, operating gun, getting set for quarter number three here from the six. Still going. Touchdown, Carolina. It's a kickoff return of 94 yards. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Points count the same no matter who scores them, but it feels like there's something extra when you get them the non-traditional way from your special teams, an extra bounce for your squad. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll see what the Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Now Gino on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. And we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle, a second and ten now. From the gun, here's Smith. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Third and long, it's Smith. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And they decided to go with the safety blitz there. And look, if that gets picked up, quarterback really has the advantage then because he'll have more time to throw the football and some wide open space. But when it doesn't, that's a guy who gets a free run into the backfield, and oftentimes the QB ends up on his backside, as he did there. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. It's a 40-yard punt, but they lose yardage on the return. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. And he fires one incomplete. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield incomplete. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Darnold from the red zone now. And this is complete to Moore on the comebacker. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Moore, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 24. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Certainly not what they wanted there, so the football by rule comes out to the 40. Free kick out of bounds. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time. And going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Throwing on second and eight, Smith. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. The offense on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and eight. Now Gino. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. Not only is his defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. On first down, it's Smith. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. 
So front Panther territory now. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A shotgun snap for Smith. He completes it to Treadwell. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Geno now to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Throwing again is Smith. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Myers' kick is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out. So it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance. That's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg. And they're at least trying to finish out strong. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the 7. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. A big play there for Carolina. 42 yards. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Instead of running, Darnold's going to throw this thing. And that is incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Faking the give, Darnold. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Second and goal from inside the five. Off of play action, Darnold. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw and give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, 
think the two of us would watch from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about. A true team game, and they got it done in this one. So for the Panthers, it's a rare bright spot as they move to 3-10 and 10 on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for Seattle, it's going to all but eliminate them from the playoff picture as they fall to 5-8. and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco.